Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stamp It Up with Jamie. I'm Jamie, and I get the pleasure of being here with you and making a card with you live on video here in YouTube, which I do every Wednesday night. Um, <laughs> I was chatting with Debbie a little bit in the chat right before I went live. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm just sitting here like waiting for the clock to count down to 730. So at least feel free to come on in and and get chit chatty with me first. Uh, but anyways, um, my name is Jamie. I am a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator, and I get the absolute pleasure and joy of sharing all things paper crafting, which is my passion. It's my hobby. It's my business. It's, it's what I do. I love it so much. Uh, I started out scrapbooking, which is really like my first love. Oh, I love scrapping so much. Uh, I don't do it nearly, like hardly at all ever. Uh, life just gets too busy. But what I find is card making is very similar. It's like mini, mini scrapbooks almost. So uh, I kind of still keeps me creative, crafty, and that sort of thing. I have zero artistic talent. I can't draw. I can't paint. I can't anything. A stick figure. That's about it. So um what I love about paper crafting is that you really don't need any artistic talent and you can just enjoy getting kind of crafty and creative and using the product in different unique ways. So um, it's, it's my passion. I love it so much. Uh, hello, Sonia. Sonia and I spent Saturday together. Well, virtually. Hello, Amy. Everyone come on in and please introduce yourself. Let me know where you're watching from. You might be catching the replay. That's totally okay. I'm just so happy to be here with you tonight. Uh, all this week, I've been using, um, hello, Jean from Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> I was trying to do an Australian accent, and I was going to make a complete idiot of myself, and I stopped. Luckily, I stopped. <laughs> Karen's here. Did I miss? Oh, hi, Karen. I did miss you. Hello, Ruth Ann. Uh, all this week, I've been using the Decorated with Happiness bundle for my cards um it it wasn't one that necessarily immediately caught my eye but man i am having so much fun creating with it this week to make christmas cards it's kind of it's a really cool how how it was designed i'm i'm really enjoying it but first i want to just give a couple of heads up a couple of sort of housekeeping things i have a i have a couple of things going on right now just a couple just a, a few Go big or go home. Um, the first is this card here. Let me just switch my video so you can see it a little closer up. This card here is one that I, I made using the, well, I use the, the dies. I use the die that goes with this. And this guy right here, he's so fun. Uh, this card right here, uh, I've gotten lots of people asking me about it. How did I do it? What colors did I use? And so I figured let's make the card together. Let's make some Christmas cards, right? So I put together a bundle, an exclusive bundle of product that would be needed to sort of put this card together. Everything except for uh, the sentiment. The sentiment and ink are the only two that I kind of left out. Um, but so it includes uh, three blending brushes, 10 yards of ribbon, two ink pads, and a Wink of Stella. Okay, so it's an exclusive bundle. I'm kind of bundling them for you. And then I'm going to mail that out with a free liquid glue. So I'm going to throw in a liquid glue for you. Okay, free liquid glue. And then all the cardstock and like the glimmer paper or I, whisper white, I, um, basic white, I should say, um, to make the cards. Okay, so you'll come away making five different cards. Uh, it's got this beautiful, I don't know if the, the, videos picking it up, but beautiful ombre effect, which is so easy to do. A beginner really can do this, but it also has this like um, splatter effect using the Wink Stella, which has like a little sparkle to it. It's not just white, it has a little sparkle and the light just picks it up and it's so pretty. Okay. So this exclusive bundle and offer is being um, offered <laughs> until September 30th. So you have today, sorry, I have something in my eye. Today, Friday, no, excuse me, today, Thursday, Friday, it ends Friday midnight or a little bit before because I got to place the order in, in September. So um, all the details, let me drop that link below for you. So I'm calling it Let's Make Christmas Cards Bundle. 
Unfortunately, I can only offer this to my friends in the United States. Oh, I guess that wasn't. Okay, let's try that again. If I do that, maybe that's a little easier. That is one big link. <laughs> that big long link will bring you to a form where you can uh, sort of reserve one of those bundles. I only have a select amount available. Um, so once they're gone, they're gone. You're not going to want to miss it. Again, five cards you're going to get. It includes actually six product. I'm throwing in the liquid glue for free. All the card stock you may need to make the card. Okay. I love to see you. Then on November 1st, we're going to make the cards together. So I'll open up an, um, a private Zoom link so we can all hop on all across the United States and make five Christmas cards each. I'm going to walk you through how to make it. I'm going to show you step by step. Super easy. We'll have fun. We'll have a good time. Uh, and we'll make some Christmas cards, okay? So that ends September 30th, okay? Uh, the second thing I wanted to mention is that I do have friends that come on and they're like, I don't really want the product per se. I just want the cards. And so let me do this. I'm offering this Christmas card here for anyone that would like to order it. So if you just want, you just want to order Christmas cards, uh, maybe you're running behind and need some help, or maybe you just really like it. It's a Fairly simple card, but I love white on white for Christmas. I love white on white for Christmas. It's got this great texture going on it. Really just kind of clean, simple, very much my jam. Uh, you can order Christmas cards. So to order, let me shorten this URL. I should have done that for the other one. Sorry about that. So let me do this. Hello, Judy. So to order Christmas cards, I'm going to drop that link below too. Unfortunately, I don't know if the comments come up. You may have, maybe I'll drop them in my campsite <laughs> because honestly, I think the replay doesn't show comments. And so that doesn't really help. And if I show you, it's like all this alphanumerical, like F R J H R A C Q. You're not going to remember that probably. So <laughs> um, I'll drop them in my campsite. But I want to let you know about those two things that I have going on. Again, you can make Christmas cards with my exclusive bundle. Or you can just straight up order cards. Um, as you can see, I really liked this product that I'm using tonight. So much so that two of my offerings, both the offerings are using this product. So those are going on. Fun times. While I'm at it, let me just show you my other cards because inevitably I forget. Let me do this. So this was Monday's card. Super clean and simple. Simple stamping. Stamps, ink, paper. Nothing more. Well, and then some embellishments. But you don't need a die cutting machine. No, no uh, die cuts. And honestly, I'm looking at this. I thought for a second you could put some Wink Estella over these ornaments, which would be really pretty. So that was Monday's card. And then I'll give you a sneak peek for tomorrow. Just very very Jamie. It's a very Jamie card. This is a very Jamie card. Um, some designer series background there, the little gold touches. I love green and red and gold for Christmas. If you can't tell, I kind of like it a little bit. <laughs> just a smidge, just a smidge. Okay. Uh, hello, Dawn. How's it going? How's everyone tonight? Let me grab a swig of my water. Okie dokie. So, Okay, I did. Here's the stamp set we're playing with. It is a photopolymer stamp set, which means it's a clear rubber. So this is great for when you're really trying to get specific pinpoint exact placement of stamping. Photopolymers were, were what you're going to want to use. And it does come in a bundle. So it bundles with the decorated pine dies, which we're going to use tonight. Use the product code together and you'll save 10%. You can find the product on page 27 of our, uh, that's okay, Judy, so happy you're here. Um, 27 of our mini catalog. Oh, I love this so much. It's really fun. It's really fun. I don't know. I wasn't quite like, whatever, but I'm glad I am. I'm glad I got it because I just have had so much fun. So I'm just getting my bone folder because I forgot it. Oh, I just realized I cut my cardstock wrong. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Is that four or five? That is not five and a half. Hold on. I cut my cardstock wrong and I realized that. So a little thing about me. Is there ever a bundle you don't love? There is, Ruthann. You notice I don't necessarily buy everything in the catalog. 
there are things that I don't, not that I don't, okay, love, yeah, things that I don't necessarily, like, I might like them, but I usually don't buy cutesy, you'll notice that, I don't usually, I don't know, I, sometimes I've bought cutesy in the past, and I don't end up using them, because it's just not really my style, cutesy, I tend, I tend to steer away from there, um, so, sorry, if you like cutesy, and you're hoping for me to make something cutesy, no promises. Okay, so my card stock is Evening Evergreen. When I have a card in portrait, where's my card that I had earlier? Oh my lord, what did I do? There they are. If I have a card in portrait, I almost always have it open top flap. Yeah, like the hippos. I did, the hippos were free, so I used them. <laughs> but I don't know if I necessarily would have bought them <laughs> to be full disclosure. Um, so when I have a card in portrait, I always have it be a top fold. I don't know. And when I have it, I mean, even landscape top fold, I always do top fold. It's just top fold. I don't know. I always do top fold. But if I want to wind around some ribbon, like I did kind of like a, like a binding almost, it has to be side fold. Okay. No cutesy unless it's a punny sentiment. Yes. There you go. I do love my puns. I wish there were more. I do love puns always. That is true. But like, I'm trying to think there are sets. I'm like, I really like them and I appreciate them. I love what people do with them, but they're just not necessarily like for me to sit down and create. I'm like, mm, I'm just not, not feeling it, you know? Okie dokie. So I'm yapping. I'm yapping. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter, a side fold, which I never do. But in order to get that ribbon in there, you're going to need the side fold. So I, I'm switching up the patterns because why not? This is, um, well, it's stars, but different stars. <laughs> this is that star and it has like this tree on the back. This is, I think, lights a glow pretty sure. You know what? I told myself I would remember the name Lights of Glow, um, which is the most foolish thing I could say to myself that I'm going to remember something. Nope. I don't know about you, but I'm that person that sends myself texts or emails. Like right now I have a screenshot sitting in my inbox because I need to, I need to mail someone something and that's how I was remembering to do it. Okay, so lights a glow, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's the entirety of the card front. Love the cards you've been doing. Your finger hands look good. Yeah, thank you. It's kind of gross. I mean, it's like healing. And as much as I don't want to admit it, I'm probably going to have a scar. But I've been putting vitamin E on it, which I was told to do to help with scarring. So time will tell. Still hurts. Still like to do that. It hurts a lot. I don't know. There's something about like fingers apart doesn't hurt. But when I put my fingers together, it hurts. I'm not a very patient person when it comes to recovery. <laughs> I'm not a patient person with anything. <laughs> okay. So next I have a panel of basic white. This is three and a half by five. Three and a half by five. And I love this stamp because it's two-step stamping. But in a very forgiving, sort of artistic way, it will make it will just make you look like a tough girl. I know, except it's my hand, and my hand's always in video or pictures, and it's my right hand. I don't know. I'm faithfully using the vitamin E. We'll see. So it has these like branch, it has this big chunky branch, and then it has three ornaments, and then this little mini branch up here. Sorry about that. And then we kind of have these little squiggles, <laughs> squiggles in the background. And it's, that's where you get your two-step stamping. They're meant to kind of be layered over one another, but because they're squiggles and not, that's the word, right? Squiggle. It doesn't sound right. Squiggle. Yeah. Squiggle little waves. Um, and it's not like a, a, an image that fits it perfectly. It's super, super forgiving. So a beginner stamper could easily use this stamp as could someone that's more advanced and has been stamping a long time. So what I'm going to do is take my e-block. Actually, 
probably needs the bigger block, but I'm going to just put mine sideways. That's a little cheat. If you need, if you have a stamp and it needs a bigger block and you don't have the bigger block, I don't have the next bigger one. Um, just put, put it sideways. And we're going to stamp it in evening evergreen ink along the spine of it. Okay, I was trying to watch my sample, but I guess I'm going to have to just wing it. And I'm going to start by coming out really far. Am I on camera? I am on camera. I like how they are doing that now. It looks very, it is very artistic. It's super artistic and it's super forgiving. Oops, I tapped it. I'm going to, I have to commit. <laughs> I, I tapped it a little bit. Super forgiving. And it also allows for really quick and easy cards, which is really something I love because Gosh, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just don't have time to sit down and make a card that takes an hour. I need something that I can just throw some ink on and I still want it to look great. And so this is kind of the better, best of both worlds. So I'm trying to angle my, my doodah, my stamp a little differently. So I get a little different images, whatever. We're going to go there. I'm not going to overthink it. I always get ink all over my block. Well, hold on. So I'm going to put that aside. And then, so I stamped it three. I'm going to answer your question in a second, Ruthie. Um, but then I'm going to take the other guy, like the single bow, and kind of use this to like fill in some of these spaces that I have created. So you want to use the smallest block to the image that you can go. So like, for example, I wouldn't put this small image on the e block because <laughs> i can i can put money on the fact that the, the block is going to be covered in ink so the first kind of suggestion is make sure you're using the smallest block you can or at least tight tight fitting block that you can for the image you're using the other thing is our ink pads aren't felt which are like the traditional ink pads that we think of that like the craft store has or like you know, the scrapbooking stores have, right? These have a foam mat to them, which means you don't have to squish. The ink is literally sitting at the top there, just waiting to be used. And all you have to do is like, you could even just let rest your block there. You're not even like tap, tap. You could just set your block there. Or you could also just, and I even in my head sometimes will go like tap, tap, tap. I just need a simple tap, tap, tap. If I squish, I rock. I roll, I pivot, whatever, I'm going to end up with ink everywhere. That's suggestion number two, just tap, tap, tap. And suggestion number three is sometimes it can be really hard to avoid getting ink on the block. And so it's a good idea just to have like baby wife sitting nearby. Sometimes it just happens. And so if you have some baby wipes or a wet paper towel sitting by, you can easily and quickly just sort of clean up around so if i were to do this and just kind of clean up the block around it and then the third suggestion would be to use a stamping tool like a stamparatus or something like that just to help um with placement but sometimes it's inevitable actually i still need that sometimes it's inevitable and so we just have to have baby wipes <laughs> such is life when i did classes in my house i always had baby wipes nearby because inevitably a finger was going in in the ink pad the ink pad the block would be covered with ink i mean it was like absolutely inevitable so i'm just going to clean that because i gotta put the other one on okay so actually i don't know if i need my big one might be able to get this on a d block d is my most favorite block <laughs> i'm such a dork <laughs> You know you're a dork and a nerd when you have a favorite stamping block. <laughs> so the my, D is my favorite block. It's this guy here. It is like two and three quarters by two and three quarters ish, more or less. Um, and it's my most versatile one that I use. It fits almost anything for the most part, except for the really big ones that I use an E for. Um, but this is like the, the two-step stamp. So I'm going to ink up an evening evergreen but i'm gonna stamp off and this is a great way to whoops that did not stamp off ev evenly this is a great way to get different shades of color from one ink pad so just by stamping off 
I have a dark color, but then now I also have that one shade less. And then you can even stamp off again. I mean, it's like super, super pale, but you could actually kind of get three, three shades from one ink color. Okay, so I'm just stamping off and going right over. You can see I'm not thinking a whole heck. I'm just kind of sort of lining them up. So I'm kind of in the vicinity of where I need to be, but I'm not overthinking it. What do I want to do? I don't know. How, I think I just did. I don't know what I did for these guys, to be honest. Okay, we're going to go for it. I don't know. Oh, is there one? Oh, I probably use that. I'm drawing a blank as to what I did. I'm just going to, I'm using the tips of this one. Okay. And so very quick and easily, you have this sort of cascade of bows going down your cardstock. Now I'm using evening evergreen. This would look, cause that's the color in the designer paper I'm using. Easily could use garden green, old olive, pear pizzazz, shaded spruce. There's so many greens. Uh, granny apple green, you could go for a brighter green. So many different greens that you can use and different options, which I love. And I lost my card. Hold on, here it is. Okay, so I have my basic white. Again, I pulled in the evening evergreen. That's the green in my paper. And I'm going to mat it on a piece. Of, sorry, you're going to get a glare. Let me put it like that for now. On a piece of gold foil. The gold foil is three and three quarters by four and a half. Hello, Julie. And you know me, I always have to mat. I just, I have to, <laughs> I can't not mat. But sometimes you can get creative in different ways of matting. So sometimes I'll do like an offset mat, right? Like a little um, kind of one offset from the other. Or sometimes I do one, like it's just a little short and sticks out a little bit, a little peekaboo. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is gold foil. Although we have a number of other golds that you could, um, you know, other options you could go with. So you, just a little peekaboo, just a little hello. Thanks, Kim. Okay. And that's going to go on our card front with Stampin' Dimensionals, which I have a couple packs started. Am I the only one that I start a pack of Dimensionals and then I'm like, oh, shoot, where is it? Because, you know, me, I'm always losing things. And then, so I start another another thing of them, and then I find them, and now I have two packs started. I mean, the struggle is real. <laughs> okay, so dimensionals. And then this is going down. Well, I need more water. Okie dokie. Oh, I should have stamped the sentiment, I forgot. Okay, next we're gonna do the ornaments. I'm gonna do them a slightly different. On my sample card here, I stamped the background. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I gold heat embossed over it. And so there you go. So you can see I did a little gold embossing over that. I'm gonna switch it up just for the sake of time purposes. Um, and I think this cherry cobbler, I'm gonna try real red. So I'm, I'm trying a couple different things. I switched up the DSP pattern, the designer series paper pattern. Um, and I'm just going to stick with the regular, Ooh, almost dropped it. Regular, uh, tone on tone. Okay. So first, first let's stamp our, I need a bigger one for this. Our ornaments. There's three of them. Does that fit? That one doesn't fit, Jamie. Hold on. I can do a little. Move that one there, move that one there. Everyone has a block. Okay. And I need a piece of basic white. Thanks, Judy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so for the ornaments, three ornaments, we're gonna just stamp full strength, real red. One, two, and three. That's kind of fun. They're all sort of cascading down. I like that. Didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> Um, okay. Now, because I don't have a bajillion blocks, you're going to have to be patient because I got to clean these. By the way, I get asked all the time, Jamie, how do you clean your stamps? I use a chamois. <laughs> you can see mine is well loved, but it still works. It's just, um, it's just dyed. It's just, uh, discolored, but all you have to do is dampen it 
and uh, get it wet and just wipe your stamps along it and it cleans it perfectly every single time. One, two, I need one more. Do I have a small one? I don't. Okay, we're going to have to go big. Go big or go home. Let's move this guy here. <laughs> I'm playing block musical chairs over here. Okay, so we have a big chunky one and he's going to go to our big chunky, our first ornament. Then we have a sort of long one and that's going to go to our long ornament. And then we kind of have a, it, it's like the three bears. It's like the three bears. Um, and then we have sort of an in-between one and that's going to go to that one. And I want to stick within the real red, but I want to stamp off for a lighter shade. So I'm sticking within the same thing I did with the evening evergreen. So I'm sticking within the that color, the same color, but just by, oh, that's so fun. That is so fun. Just by stamping off, I get a different shade of it. Isn't that fun? Listen, you don't have to worry about lining them up. You don't have to color. You literally just throw it on. It's very, very forgiving. I'm going to get to my dies, but I buried them. Don't judge me for the way my dies look. Oh, actually, not that bad. Lots and lots of dies. Look at this. We have some dies that fit the stamped images. We have some standalone dies like the bows and the ornaments and the bell, some stars. This guy here is great for that bow that I cut out a couple times. Oh, I love this set so, so much. Just a little, just a little. Okay. Off camera here. I'm going to cut them out. Give me just a moment. You know, I'm going to try and go fast, but no pressure. No pressure. Let's see. Can I do two at a time? Well, two and then. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Two came out. One, two. And it does cut off just a little bit of that stamped splotch. Or what did I call it before? I called it something. Uh, but not too much. You still see it. Okie dokie. Perfect. Okay. So, and then I just kind of offset them. So I put like one, I'm looking at my sample. What did I do again? I did squiggle. Squiggle. Is that a word? It is, right? Did I didn't just make that up. Sometimes I've said things so many times that I, I don't know. I'm like, did I make that word up or is that a real word? I think that's a real word. Like that. Now, before I move on, I'm going to do the sentiment but I don't know if it's going to work. So if it doesn't work, I will have to pivot and we'll have to figure something out. But I'm going to stamp the bows of Jolly. And the reason why I'm not sure it will work is because I should have done it before I adhered it down with dimensionals because now there's a dimensional right there. And so it's not going to want to... Um. We'll see. We'll see. I may have to figure something out. If this doesn't work, we're pivoting and figuring something out. <laughs> Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We can do this. Positive thoughts. Oh, it worked. It worked. I sweat that one out. I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous about that one. Okay, now let's put these down with some dimensionals. I'm going to use a mix of full size. Oh, I'm almost out of minis. I have three left. Okay, so let's put this guy like, I don't know, up there. Sure, why not? This guy, I don't know, can I get, oh, I can. Okay, good. A full-size dimensional and then a mini dimensional. Thank goodness for minis. Right? 
And then last but not oops, last but not least, a full size. My gravy. I'm throwing everything away. It's so dang cute, Vicky. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Denise. Means a lot from coming from you. You have such an eye for design. Okay. I don't know. How about that? Now, we could leave it like that. Oh, my gosh, Vicky, what a compliment. That is a huge compliment. Thank you. <laughs> um, we could leave it as is, and it would be just fine. But we can go one step further. I use this stuff all the time. Look, you can tell what color I use more of. <laughs> I guess I'm a gold girl. And I need my scissors. We're going to go one step further and just put some thread, I believe this stuff is called, in a bow. I'm just going to cut it long because it's a lot easier to work with. This is the, um, I always forget the name. It's been around for two years and I always, elegant, elegant trim, something elegant trim. Um, there's a silver and there's a gold and I use the gold all the time. It does kind of have a mind of its own, but that's kind of why I like it because it just kind of goes like, you can't force it to go in a certain direction. Like it's going to, it curls and it literally has a mind of its own, but it's just kind of chunky and adds this nice texture. I just love it so much. And I do love it because it has a mind of its own. So I try and tame it by giving it a little bit of a haircut, but really it's going to just do its thing. And that's okay. I'm totally, totally okay with that. So all I did is I just put it through the, the seam of the card and then tied a bow. And I did try it with some of our thicker golds and I just didn't like them quite as much. I did like the trim the most. And so that's what I went with. Okie dokie. Now to finish it off, I'm going to stamp the wishing you a season decorated with happiness and wonder on the inside. I don't always stamp inside sentiments for my cards, but I always do for Christmas cards because I mail so many of them. Uh, it's just quite honestly, it's easier. <laughs> oh, thank you. Simply elegant trim. I knew it was, I knew it was three words. Thank you, Karen. Karen's got my back. Um, I always stamp an inside sentiment for Christmas cards because then I usually just say, dear, boop, love, boop. I don't write like a message, which is what I normally do when I send cards. So I love that this set includes, includes an inside sentiment. So I don't have to go looking through my stash for a different, for another one. And because it came from the same stamp set, it has the same font, which makes my my matchy, like the, my heart that wants everything matchy, matchy. It makes me so happy. So wishing you a season decorated with happiness and wonder. And that this is four by five and a quarter, by the way. Just a piece of basic white. And on the inside it goes. Ta-da! Oops. What do you think? Okay, so ooh, I think I know which one I like more, quite honestly. I have my Golden Boss with Cherry Cobbler, or I have just my real red one. Do you have a preference? I'm curious to know if you like one more than the other. This is Cherry Cobbler with Gold Embossing, or I have No Embossing and just Real Red with Real Red. Do you have a favorite? Thank you, Judy. Judy and Judy. I think I like the real red one more. The ornaments pop just a little bit more. That's I think my favorite. This this bow is out of control. Like talk about no taming it. I think it needs a little bit of a haircut. I think that's part of the problem. It's like, woo, there we go. A little better. Okay. So decorated with happiness. It's in the mini catalog. It's available right now stamp set, dies, or bundle. So you can get it in three different ways. Just a reminder, you like the real red one? I think I do too. You like the gold one more, Amy? Thank you. Um, so just a reminder, you can order, you can order Christmas cards that are already made. You can just order however many you'd like, 
Or if you'd like to participate in an exclusive event of making Christmas cards together, I have a unique bundle that I've put together so that we can make this card right here, five of these cards uh, on November 1st together or whenever you have availability. Um, I will drop both those links over in my, my sort of catch-all link, which is jamieb.com. Um, over there, you can find my link to shop um to get my newsletter all the things it's like my catch-all link so jamieb.com if you want to order the bundle you want to order cards you want to place an order or you just want to see what's over there <laughs> okay uh denise says i like the real run a bit more uh yeah i think i do too i think i like the real red one better too so i'm glad i did it i'm glad i had the chance Okay, everyone, that wraps up tonight. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I will see you back same time, same place next week. Happy stamping. Good night, everyone.